Hello everybody, Andrew here from the Hammer Game Channel, and welcome back to my, uh, well, we are playing as the Global Defence Council now. I have went and got further down the tree because I did have to restart, hence why we're about eight months forward from where we finished off last episode. But um, the decisions and the research tree broke. As you can see, it's fine now, it's fine. And we've got a lot more divisions than last time as well. Um, the decisions are working. Uh, they're, they're not showing up, but we can go ahead and like core Spanish Africa. We can also core Portugal's territories once compliance gets over 60%, which is probably going to take some time. Yeah, they're, 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 it's, it's, it's getting there. And we also have to go ahead and core the rest of our territories, but we are gun short right now. And um, the world, let me just show off the world actually, because this is a different, it's a different world. Britain went fascist this time. Um, they're not at war with anybody right now. India was in a civil war, but they've won. Don't know why they've they've joined the communists. France went fascist. We have Jacques Doriette here, and uh, we have the Novus Imperium Romanum, and they're at war with the um, Common Turn because Greece joined the Common Turn. Germany went monarchist and has reformed the central powers. Austria Hungary is here as well. Stalin's kind of at war with everybody. Mexico joined the Central Powers and is pushing south into Central America, who all joined the common term. Um, Japan. Japan has taken over all of um, Asia right now, but we do have an independence war pending over here, so Japan's going to have a little bit of an issue to deal with. Uh, Mao is still alive as well. It's not Mao, it's uh, Sheng. Yeah, that's basically the state of the world. The uh, Yugoslavians are in their own faction. They're actually beating the Italians right now. The Italians do have a lot of troops on our border. France did suffer a civil war, hence why they don't have that many divisions. And today, we are going to gear up to go to war with them and cause an anarchist uprising to occur and hopefully we'll be able to take them down and then take down Italy, bringing an end to the, uh, the fascists. Yeah, because you just have to take out those two. Um... Probably the common turn might take a decent bit of land, but then we'll maybe strike the common turn. I don't know. I don't know, actually. But they are going to be getting the UK joining them. Damn it, why didn't you go the opposite way? Uh, that would have been... That would have been better, but oh well, they're going to follow Moscow. The Soviets may reject them, but I doubt it. Which means they're going to be at war with everybody as well. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> We're going to take on the fascists first, though. Oh, Mussolini got assassinated, so France is just by themselves now. Okay. Do you know what? We're not waiting anybody longer. We're going for them. We only have one spy right now. I haven't really worked on... Oh my gosh, Mexico. Mexico's just getting the common turn even thicker and thicker and thicker. I kind of do want to take down Germany first, though. I, I don't know what we're going to do. Because we're going to be standing alone through the entirety of this. We're going to have to do everything ourselves. Everything. Depending on what America gets up to. Because now Yugoslavia is getting destroyed. Right, let's do this. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Should have maybe stopped exercising. But we should hopefully get a decision to call. Yeah, ignite anarchist uprising. At least 20,000. Oh my gosh, 20,000 equipment we need. Okay, well, we need to start producing a ton of guns then. Oh, because they're still classed as being in a civil war because the French joined the bloody common turn. Oh, well, time for you to die, France. And hopefully, what's the percentages? 94% for the, the communists. Yeah, we, we're going to have to absolutely destroy them here to get the percentage up. I'm not even classed as a major. Oh, the anarchy is spreading. Maybe they might actually... Oh, yeah, they're going to take our... 
African territories, but um, does that really matter? Venezuela's been called in. Does it really matter? Because the only majors are France. Yeah, gosh, 20,000, but creates global anarchist unit. Do we get a lot of units, actually? I, I, I don't know where the French are, really. Uh, this is... Yeah, death is death is coming for you. We're probably gonna have to go straight to war with the common term. I think we're gonna have to take them down. Let's do this so we get the last research slot. I'm not gonna risk striking Belgium or Luxembourg or the Netherlands right now because I have a funny feeling they could join the Central Powers. We won't actually border. Yeah, they did join the common turn. I say we could actually just keep pushing and just going through everybody, just swipe our way across Europe. Which isn't actually a bad idea. Like, just gradually, sh slowly but surely, just take down every faction along the way. Because what we need to do is we need to start coring land as well along the way just to keep our manpower pull up because we can't even change conscription. What are we doing in this war anyways? We have killed... We've lost 11,000. We're up to 19%. Yeah, we're not really going to get much out of this. We might just have to go straight into war with a common turn. We may divert our attention to try and take down the Union of Britain. I'm hoping they're going to be shipping out a lot of troops to... Um, to the Soviets. The Soviets are losing. Which is always a good thing. Yeah, the, the French don't really stand a chance. Um, of all people to strike, the Dutch Reich. Like, seriously? Really? Oh, the North American Coalition is here once again. Well, at least we can maybe get the Netherlands. But that means there's a democratic faction now, so invading democracies could be disastrous. Right, yeah, you get the Cali, please. We need to start spreading out these factories a little bit more. We need to get an air force out. We really do. Because the Germans will probably decimate us in the air if that's the case. Road 25%. That is good. Join the anti turn pact? Why the hell not? Let's just pee off the Soviets even more than we already have. How many French have we killed? 196,000. That's not too bad at all. Just want to get in there, that'll cut them off. Even just get in there and that'll cut them off. It's not even the French that are defending half of this, it's Peru. Ah! We might actually get a decent chunk here. Let's go ahead and... Damn it. Okay. Hop over there. Oh, all of Africa's up for grabs. <laughs> Try and get as much as this as possible. Shouldn't actually be too hard to get the most majority of it. Venezuela's getting gobbled up. Land being gobbled up over there. So is those islands. Really, it's just the mainland where it looks like things left. Oh, 
Oh, time to get Corsica. Nothing left to take. But, th but there is. We are, we are much thicker than we were. Much thicker. The Bulgarians are still in the faction with the Dominican Republic, which is kind of kind of cute. Um, let's go ahead and start sorting out factories, which we've basically done. See, I'd take down Belgium, but of course it's just going to cause us issues. But I think... Because surely we have... Oh, but she's Lindsay to join that faction. Seriously? We could now core all of that. We cannot core all of France. Wow, we, we really didn't take that many guns from them. Okay, right now, I think it's time to just recover and prepare. Yeah, I'm just going to let them keep fighting between themselves right now. Keep fighting between themselves. I'm just going to go ahead and core some land. So we could, oh yeah, compliance is going to be an issue. Yeah, we'll start it there. And we're actually losing power by doing that. So now we've not got much to go in the focus tree anyways, we're really not. To be honest, we don't even need those fortifications. The stability would be nice, let's go for the factories first though. Let's start researching armor tank. Well, armor divisions. We need armor divisions, so let's get tanks. See how Hank if I was go for Belgium, they'll join the Americans. Totally see that happening. We'll just start setting ourselves up. Yugoslavia is actually holding pretty well. We could strike the Germans. Because I'm sure the Italians wouldn't be too much of an issue, really. The Germans probably would, though. Oh gosh, look at all the bloody repairs. Losing equipment every day. A garrison reinforcement. Nope. Just get off of doing that right now. 10k for garrison reinforcement. Wow. Yeah, that's one thing we're going to have to deal with quite badly during this. Resistance is going down. change it for and so forth. Eh, uh, anyone could start another war with such a pact. It's not going to do anything, so what's the point? Oh, Republic of Malaysia is getting attacked, which means Japan... <laughs> Yeah, Japan is now going to become at war with, like, everybody. Everybody's at war with everybody. Oh, this issue of the garrisons, man.
stuff at martial law for them all. Oh my gosh. Nope, not martial law for them all. Civilian oversight is the best one to be on because we're not that short. Once the resistance dies down, we could send our troops over there right now. Medium activity. You get home. Someone's spying on me. Oh, Yugoslavia's dying. Resistance is really high in Africa. I honestly don't think we're going to get attacked anytime soon by the Germans. So let's go ahead and get some trips over here. Because resistance is very, very high and we need to definitely, definitely bring it down. Don't have enough divisions on it like, but should still help. Okay, we're making guns. We're making guns. Oh, man. Well, Stalin is definitely not winning. That's for sure. Which could be quite troublesome for us. But, um, yeah, we kind of don't want Stalin to die before we can intervene. Let's pray the dockyards. So I think we should take down the, the central powers before. Oh, they, they pieced out. Good for you. Yeah, I think we should take down the central powers before they get too strong. But we really need to start producing guns. And if we can get 20,000, we can cause a civil war in Germany. Which wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Take the advanced computer machine now. We're a bit short of rubber, but that is okay. Once we've done those dockyards probably grab you grab you and then just not do any other focuses because I, I don't think we need the coastline protection or anything we could do with actually eliminating the gorillas at home it's going down is going down. Hopefully compliance is going up. Well, the compliance isn't actually that bad. Really. Jing Chang declared war in Japan. You're not going to survive. Not when, even with 92 divisions, that's hard going. priority because then we can just once that deficit's dealt with with the garrison reinforcements 
should be good. Should definitely be okay. Yeah, we're only 3k short now. I don't know how much Cora this lad's really going to do for us. We could probably get anti tank in production, if anything, really. So, help against the German tanks. Hopefully, the Germans will be kind of exhausting themselves. They're all extensive. Ellie's on total mobilization. Service by requirement for the. The Austrians. Gosh, they do have a lot of divisions though. That's the only concerning thing. If we just look at this war. It's not good. It's not good. UK might be able to help us out in our push during it. Right, we're going to save up 20,000 guns now. But I do want to get at least another batch of 24 divisions up. So how many guns is that going to set us back? I think it's going to be about 24k itself. Yeah. 121 days. So in 240 days time, we're going to get right into them. Because the plan is to go through the Netherlands. We'll, we'll push through here and try and take northern Germany whilst holding the Italians and the French Alps. Oh, do you know what? Stop here now. We'll put a lot of emphasis on the guns and then we'll start building up everything on that. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll build some forts here. Don't think we really need any up here. Saying that, we might just get a wee safety net in place. Just notice we've just put all those repairs to the bottom and I kind of want them to get done now. It's only really infrastructure. But I do, I do want them done and sorted. Oh yes, French occupation resistance. It's not too high either. I've got the Council of the Theorists. Council of the Theorists. I'm a little short for the garrison reinforcements, but that, that doesn't seem like too bad. Yep, the Soviets are really losing, but this is the perfect time to strike Germany, because if they don't have many troops actually still sitting over here to defend against me, then we'll hopefully be able to smash right through. We don't actually have an field marshal, I don't think. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not, you're not supposed to be in there. He's reckless. Manpower will be our one issue because we only got one mil left. If we take down the central powers, then we'll have to just focus on building ourselves up. When I say building ourselves up, I mean integrating a lot of land. A lot of land. The Anarchy Civil War should be able to help us, possibly. Back to 187. Nah, eh, how many how many divisions have we got in total right now? 90.
How is resistance over here now? Because I might. I don't know. It's, just, it's still going down. It's still going down. And compliance is looking good. Just a shame it costs so much to go ahead and actually integrate the land. It's going to be over 60% as well. Not cheap at all. Not cheap at all. Fine, Vladivostok's stock's gonna cause them to capitulate or slower, so. Germans haven't even lost a mil. They've killed 2.2 million Soviets. Oh. Well, I'd love to have helped out with that, but you've, you've done it too early. We do have like, power, so we can go ahead and promote a new commander. And he's pretty decent. Good. Good, good, good. I do want to get tanks out eventually, so I'm going to just continue researching them. I guess we'll use him. We've got a war as soon as we've got like 25k guns. So what I'll do is I'll leave this episode here. And we'll pick off when I can go to war with uh, Germany. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we will be back very soon for some more. Take care. Cheer bye. The now.